The Greatest Story Ever Told Life on Earth originated about four billion years ago. The origin of life was a transition from simple chemistry to complex biochemistry. The first branching of the tree of life created bacteria and archaea. Later, a third branch, eukarya, split off from archaea. Biological polymers are replicated, transcribed, and translated. The rules that govern the information flow during these processes are known as the central dogma of molecular biology. The central dogma says that RNA can be replicated to make new RNA. RNA can be reverse transcribed to make DNA. DNA can be replicated to make new DNA. DNA can be transcribed to make RNA. And RNA can be translated to make protein. Biology contains what we call molecular symbionts. These are different types of polymers that rely entirely on one another. RNA is one type of molecular symbiont. RNA is synthesized by protein. Protein is the other molecular symbiont. Protein is synthesized by RNA. In every cell of every organism, RNA and protein depend on each other for synthesis. The synthesis of protein by the ribosome is called translation. The ribosome is the most ancient and universal macromolecular assembly in the biological world. The ribosome has a small subunit that reads the mRNA. The ribosome also contains a large subunit that links amino acids in the correct sequence. tRNAs deliver amino acids to the ribosome. The evolution of the prokaryotic ribosome was essentially complete by the last universal common ancestor, or LUCA. The ribosome is around 4 billion years old. Even though it is extremely ancient, we have developed methods for reconstructing the evolution of the ribosome. In phase 1, the LSU and SSU both begin as small RNA stem loops. Folding to stem loops protects the RNA from chemical degradation. In phase 2, the LSU rRNA forms the peptidyl transferase center. The SSU rRNA function is less certain. In phase 3, the peptidyl transferase center is encased and rigidified, and the exit pore is extended into a short tunnel. The SSU termini dissociate with formation of the central pseudonaut. By the end of phase 3, the LSU and the SSU associate. In phase 4, in the LSU, the tunnel is further developed. The SSU gains well-defined binding pockets for the tRNAs. In phase 5, the ratcheting system is acquired. The genetic code begins to optimize and expand. In phase 6, the prokaryotic ribosome is finalized with a fully optimized genetic code. The ribosomal surface is an integrated patchwork of RNA and mature ribosomal proteins. The ribosome grew by accretion of new RNA on old RNA, like nested Russian dolls.